Back to my little chair over here, and we've got uh, Chris and Jasmine Culpepper. Hello, guys. Hey. Hey, Catfish. Well, welcome. And, and the beautiful little boy known as Hudson. That's him. <laughs> yes. That's yeah. him. Hey, Hudson. How old's Hudson? He's uh, 16 months. Yeah. Yeah. So your go today, what was going on in your guys' life? You had uh, a four-month-old, right? We had a four-month-old. And? Four months before that, it was uh, in the NICU here. And he was born uh, with a couple of heart defects. Um, she can explain them better than I can. So actually right out of the, yeah. So things just started at the beginning, but then things progressed, you know, along the way. But let's go back to the beginning. Sure. Um, well, all children's actually came into our life before he was even born when I was 30 weeks pregnant. Okay. So um, that through some routine ultrasounds, they saw that he had um, a pretty major heart defect for what they thought were half of his heart just wasn't going to be functioning properly and stop right there <laughs> you guys are going yeah i mean <laughs> dad what, what are you thinking when it first when you heard that news well it's it's that moment uh, that every parent doesn't want to go through that you can't you're helpless to help your child um child's so not even born yet and you're going child's like, not really? even born yet and you can't do a thing about it um so that definitely triggers a lot of things and of course google doesn't help <laughs> it helps with a lot of stuff. it helps with a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah right but not the ease of, oh, of yeah. what may or may not have to happen yeah and you guys obviously go to your doctor and you get this news and you're thinking all right now where do we go and you end up yes with we your ended association up, with this place right so we ended up starting out with dr miller over at the sarasota outpatient care and she was just absolutely amazing um, put us at ease, uh, and then uh, fortunately through more ultrasounds found that uh, the first doctor um, was incorrect, and so then it was went from a lifetime of issues to being a fixable issue, and that's kind of been our biggest thing was, um, you know, you never want your son to have, or child to have open heart surgery, um, or have any sort of surgery, but, um, for us, it was, yes, he's going to have it, but he's not going to have a lifetime of issues like so many right. kids here do. So we're so thankful <laughs> to this team here for fixing our little guy and not having to be in the hospital all the time anymore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're right. You've got some wins there, and, and, that, and that's, uh, that's, that's what happens here at this place most of the time. You have that. Mm -hmm. You know, we just had a young man here a little bit ago that, now works for the hospital at 34 and at 10 months he had open heart surgery wow. you know and he had issues along the way and it shows that yes things things do happen really good here and it, so now the prognosis on uh, on hudson at 16 months He's cardiologist good. appointment every year just to check on it wow that's and it. That's it. He's got a nice scar to show the ladies when he's older. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> but now, isn't it nice to smile and laugh a little bit now? But yeah. I know it's been a crazy six, to, well, prior to the uh, pregnancy, I mean, you know, during the uh, 30 weeks on up to now, it's mm -hmm. been kind of hectic, right? Yes, it's yeah. been a little crazy. And we knew that he was eventually going to have to have, you know, the surgery and stuff. And so... Um, we kind of blocked off this whole year, you know, just kind of prepping and um, being in prayer about um, peace about everything. And um, we didn't realize, I don't want to say that it was easy, but, you know, the people here when we were in the CVICU um, just they made it they made it so easy for us and you know after the surgery was over and they were talking about discharging us we were like that's it like that's <laughs> that's it we get to take him home and he's going to be okay and um, you sure you don't i don't have to bring him back tomorrow or something exactly yeah, yeah. Wow. so that was what a um, feeling it was an amazing feeling so now we're just i mean he's a normal 16 month old getting into everything um, so he'll, he's, he's become, you know, once it's, it's been repaired, he's going to mm -hmm. be pretty, he's, you're expecting to be just the normal. Yes. Right. We could tell, uh, really the first week after we were home, um, after being discharged, oh, he was, here we go. So energetic. Hallelujah. Um, yeah. So it was amazing. That is really cool. Uh, Chris, any, any, any stories or anything, any, anything that, uh, with your experience with this hospital, the doctors, anything in the hall, any, anything that really hits your heart or 
you know, to give our listeners an insight to. You know, I think um, I think what hits me the hardest is, um, like Jasmine said, that just the thankfulness for this hospital that the nurses they put you at ease and in the CVICU when we were there, they were a little understaffed, but they didn't make it seem like they were understaffed. Mm. That's amazing. They're huh? very they're very hard workers, and you know they're around the clock. Every 12 hours, you got a new nurse, and each one of them is just as knowledgeable as the last. Um, but I think um, I think what hits home the most is, and what we're most thankful for, is somewhat that you know we're not the worst case, and you know a lot of people know that and right, and right. stuff. And so um, there's there's kids here that they're here year in year out, and they don't leave sometimes. Sure. Um, so, you know, we definitely take that with a grain of salt and are thankful and and uh so yeah. Yeah, that's it's pretty amazing. Well, I'm glad you guys are doing great. And uh, you know, in honor of uh, Hudson Cole Pepper, this little guy, it's sixteen months. I know you can't speak yet, but I'm sure you'd say thanks to everybody at All Children's, right? Say thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> Give me that big smile. There's daddy. There's daddy. 800-270-8642. 800-270-8642. Right now, become a monthly miracle maker here for the All Children's Hospital. And uh, once again, guys, thank you very much. Anything thank else you. in closing you wanted to say? Or um, I just you had a quick... Um, Absolutely. When we were in the NICU, um, there was this one nurse, Laura, and she was his nurse a couple of times, and she was phenomenal. And I'll never forget the time that I got discharged because we birthed over at Bayfront, and then he was over here. Um, so I was just, you know, a couple floors in a hallway away. At that point, um, but then when I got discharged and went to go see him, and I, of course, was extremely emotional, and um, all she did was she was just like, oh, you got discharged today, and she just knew, and she was just so, I get emotional every time I even think right. about it. Um, she was so what? She was just so, she was just there with the right words to say. Um, and to just be there emotionally for you. And what was her name again? Laura. Yeah. They're amazing here. And I'm so happy that you guys got a healthy little, little boy now. And mm -hmm. it'll just be, it'll be awesome. So you guys, you just never know. I, I, I've said it again and again. It's a huge insurance policy down here with a big old heart. And with all the, all the uh, you know, research that goes on with John Hopkins and, and it's just it's a, such a win 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 and so it's uh it's great to have the people behind the scenes that really and up front Absolutely. from the doctors all the way down I mean it's everybody here and if we could give just a shout out I guess Absolutely. How it is on the radio but to his uh his surgeon Dr. Quinnicenza oh. oh yeah I mean you talk about a rock star <laughs> <laughs> that man is a rock star and that's what we heard all the way leading up to it it was even his pediatrician down in sarasota was like oh yeah you're fine he'll come out of there and give you one of these and you'll be good wow. so you know there, there was there was no doubt but you know yeah, so that, it, that again put our mind at ease i just gonna say little things like that was right. huge for you guys right right you know i mean yep. and, and, it, and it's tough i mean i've never had a kid or you know, and there's a lot of people that have kids that have never had a kid on you know on this such delicate journey and say wow are we gonna lose this guy right and it's just amazing i mean you know guys you just never know i'm not trying to beg for your money but i'm just telling you you just never know, and it's great to have a place like this, mm -hmm. and they're here for you. And if you can just give just a little bit of your holiday spirit, a little bit of your spending money, a little bit of your coffee money, a little bit of your lunch money today, 50 cents a day, that's all we're asking for. That's it. That's it, 50 cents a day, and it's 1-800-270-8642, 800-270-8642. All right, give it up for Hudson Culpepper and the family. Yes, Chris and Jasmine. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. All right. Thank you.